quick. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Look, as you can see, I have my gazebo. It's here. It's finally here. Um, I just placed down like that thing there because it was just in my way. Um, but yeah, I did this. Yeah, last stream. Well, mm, I did it yesterday before I streamed. I placed this down and then, uh, yeah, put in the materials and all that. And then we uh, basically got it finished. So when we build the gazebo, it looks... Ooh, pictures are waiting to load. Um, yeah, it looks like this when you first place it down. Well, first when you place it down, there's just no structure, really. It's just like the podium, basically. And then, yeah, then once you put the materials in, you get the wooden frame. After you wait five hours, then you have it fully constructed. The only thing that's a bit of a bummer about it because there's gazebos in the world, and theirs has a bunch of flowers all around. But the one that we got at home doesn't. It's just a bunch of grass. So, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if they're going to, like, make it so that eventually we can add landscaping. And, like, maybe we can slot it onto here. I, I was kind of hoping it would have all the pretty flowers from the ones that I've seen out in the world. But it's still a very cool structure. I like it a lot. Uh, however... You can see I am at 15 out of 15 again. Um, I tried to remove the fireplace and then put down the windmill because there was the other day when I was like messing around with it and I thought it was like gonna let me do both, but it it didn't. <laughs> so I guess the windmill still technically classify as a building. I'm not sure. It's weird. You can hear it. Oh wait, no. Oh my god, that's the seed collector. I'm dumb. I was like, I can hear the thing. I'm above. No, 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 that's my seed collector. Um. So then, over here, I made, like, this little area over this way to go to my tent. And this is where I have my smelter and my sawmill. And then just a couple other random stuff over there. Yeah, the gazebo is a lot larger than I expected as well. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just plop down some stuff. Maybe put a sofa in here. Let me see. Might kind of put it like that, maybe. And then, ooh, yeah, we should put a little lantern around here. Oh, wait, can I put it? Oh, cool, you can put stuff on there, too. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. So, yeah, the stuff that's kind of, like, around, like, the inner benches, you can put stuff uh, on there. So that's really nice. And thankfully, yeah, you can put furniture up there, too, which is fantastic. So, I decided to kind of put it more towards the entranceway, like so. Then when we come here, we have that structure to the left. And we have the main house, and then over there we've got our tent. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess I'll just save all this left side in the future for maybe, hopefully, some more exterior items that we might get. Um, I'm working on, you know, getting enough, like, metals to buy that really fancy river. It's a foraging one. Um, I probably won't be able to get it for a little bit. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, can I remove Tish's romance pin? Let me see. <sighs> It let me do it. Okay. Yay. I guess it's been a week since I did that. Okay. So I'm not going to put Tisha's pin back on. I'm going to go here. So we're going to experiment with the breaking up stuff today because I've never done that before. So uh, let's go to... Um, where is it under? Equipment. Oh, I don't have any chocolates with me. Okay. So... I took off the pin. Let's go into town. I'm going to go buy a box of chocolates. I'm going to try to break up, or I'm going to break up with Tish. Talk to them, see if they say anything about it, acknowledge it at all. I'm assuming probably... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's just like a, a setting for your character, basically. Like, yes, I'm dating this person, or no, I'm not. It seems like it's very much like you're just kind of toggling like who you want to date is the way I feel like the game is going to treat it but maybe I'm wrong maybe something will happen I'm very curious to see if the romance like is it just going to get blocked off or is it just going to reset <laughs> we're, we're going to find out in a second actually hold on I'm going to hide my PNG tuber for a moment for this because oh gosh sorry I know I've been Wanting to make so many Palea videos lately, but I've just been so busy streaming Palea. And also now Baldur's Gate has been my latest obsession. 
But yeah, there's a couple of videos I still want to make for Paleo in regards to um, like other random little tips and tricks. Okay, I'm going to buy this. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. I removed Tish's pin, so we're no longer like have the pin on them. Well, I guess let me talk to Tish one more time and see if they say anything about that. Last time I removed a pin and I talked to them, they, they didn't say anything about it at all. Um... So yeah, we'll see if by any means. Oh, you did your ship ceremony with the Einar last night? It was so cute. Oh, nice. So yeah, yeah, you know what? Since we can only talk to a villager once a day, we already confirmed that we take the pin off. They don't say anything new. So okay, we'll we'll do the breakup interaction and then talk to them just to see like what if they say anything. If like they don't want to talk to us for a while or something. Let me see. So to go and break up with someone, we're gonna go to the relationships tab. And then here we are with Tish. So, you know, we're at max max. So if we go here to the cogwheel and we say break up. Are you sure you want to break up? Oh, romance level will be reset to zero. Okay. I don't actually need to do it then, I guess. Um, so it does. Yeah, it sets it back to zero. And then I'm assuming you give them chocolates again and you can probably just start dating them again. Like, yeah, so it, it does, but that's weird. Does that mean you do those quests again? No, right? Because, no, that would be weird. Okay, no, so I'm just, I just wanted to, that was my, the main question I had. I'm assuming you can probably give them chocolates and start dating again. I don't see why not. Oh, wow, gel is almost maxed out. Nice. Okay, so I'm just not going to wear her pin. Um... I'm going to go put Reth's pin on, actually. So, let me go back home. Actually, while I'm out here, let me go ahead and go to the store. That way we can spend our two lucky coins and maybe we'll get something good. How long? I streamed for nine hours total last night. So, say I wish we could save and do that, but since this game is online, there is no... There's, like, no saving function. Everything auto-saves, basically. Oh, thank you, by the way, Biggie. I'm glad that you liked watching Baldur's Gate 3. I'm so sorry about last night, by the way, y'all. Towards the... I mean, it was really late. I was... It was like 2 in the morning or so, or like when I ended. But I was kind of zombie mode towards the end there. So I apologize I wasn't very talkative towards the end of the stream that night. And then like, oh my god, we were just getting our ass beat by all those goblins in that dungeon. Um, so I was just like, ah... And I was feeling a bit defeated, definitely, especially with the class I was playing. I just felt like I wasn't playing them right and everything. I don't know. I just felt like I was kind of struggling. But I think um, I'm, I'm having, a, oh my god, I'm having a blast with the Baldur's Gate 3, though. I think it's like such an amazing, fun game. I'm really loving it. Uh, it's just going to take more time and practice. Uh, and the, the more we play it, the more I'll get better at it. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. All right, let's go here. We're going to get two lucky boxes. So, first one brought us... Ooh, 20 Dispel Arrows. Actually, that's not the worst thing in the world. And then the second one got us 60 Repair Kits. Very nice. Okay. Speaking of Repair Kits, let me go over and repair some real quick. Here we go. Okay, Repair. Uh, Gel should probably be in his room. So I'm going to head there. And talk to them. Also, hello, Nemo Briar. Sorry about that. I just saw you. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Um, but that's amazing. By the way, Leo, the, the Shep ceremony is like the cutest little thing ever. I love, love, love that quest so much. It is totally worth, you know, working towards getting a Shep to level four and everything. This is cool. I just realized like the podium that he has here. And they have the... Um, the raven wood floor decor up here, like, diagonal? That is really fancy. Okay. Hello, Gel. Your presence quiets my thoughts. Oh, what do you want this week? Um, a carp. Okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna flirt with ya. There you go. Oh, I keep forgetting you can't give them things when they're inside the room. They're technically sleeping when that happens. Yeah, right? Like, the cutscene was actually fantastic. The quality of it and everything was very, very good. Oh, Sifu, do you want anything this week? Another story? I know they're a little rare, but I've been wanting to try out some firework arrows. Okay. Let's 
So yeah, for Einer's level three romance quest, I have to go around and I have to give people their ten, weekly up, wants ten times bugs. today. Let's chat more later, okay? So let me see. I should go back home and see if there's anything easy that I can do today. Um, here, let me stop walking around for a moment. Okay, so for Ashra, oh, sweet leaf, easy. Okay, so Ashra, or uh, yeah, all right, Ashra, sweet leaf, Ani, you want an apple pie? I think I have one. Apple pie or unopened oyster. Both of those are easy to do. Madru wants a carrot. I've got plenty of those. Carrot. And then I don't know what Clary wants yet. Oh, Delilah is going to be maxed out in a moment too. Awesome. Oh, easy. Okay, Einer wants a Bahari crab. That's four already that are pretty straightforward to do. Uh, you want a Samara seed. Okay, Ashi, Samara seed. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. Uh, you want... Oh, I, I got both of these. Um, I'm going to give you plant fiber, though. That's I'm, I have, like, a thousand of those or something. Plant fiber. Hecla. Mm. Make dinner. Want a pearl. Freshwater eel. I... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I have plenty of cotton seeds I can give Gina. Henley wants a grilled oyster. Okay. And then let's see, that's at one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Need two more. I want to say I have one of these actually. The bright eye butterfly. Okay, I'll write that down. I'm fairly certain I have one. Stone brick. Okay. Nayo wants a stone brick. Cool. All right, let's go back home. Oh, wait, actually, before I do that, I need to go to the general store. I need to buy either one more rice or wheat. I'll just buy one of each or maybe a couple of each. Let's see. Go to rice and wheat. Okay, cool. I have um, been... Following uh, uh, this streamer, Zaytree, for a while. She's amazing. She's the one that did the overlay for my Persona 5 chat bubbles. Like, she did all the programming for that. And she also made the chat bubbles in the first place that a lot of people on Twitch use. Really, really talented, amazing programmer and streamer. Uh, they've been playing a lot of Paleo. They literally made a whole spreadsheet that auto-calculates, like... If a crop will be, like, what bonuses they'll get and everything. They just went all out with these spreadsheets, um, which was amazing. And they came up with, like, this really cool farm layout that, like, you don't have to water and you don't have to, like, weed. And it gives you a, like, bunch of harvest boosts and stuff. So, uh, this isn't it. This is just my potatoes and tomatoes together. But, yeah, I want to follow their um, layout. So... Whenever this clears out, um, I'm going to go and try to do that. And hello, Dronopolis. What's up, AJ? Oh my god, Colita del Elefante. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Um, okay. Let me go and put this down here. Okay, I need to go and put down some other things, too. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this little campfire over here, I think. There we go. That way we have, like, a cute little... Something out in front here. Um, I I didn't realize how many of these clotheslines I had, by the way. And I, because the clothesline is like an actual makeshift collection, it works with the um, spreadsheets and stuff. So I don't think they like share their spreadsheet. But um, here I'll find their Twitter account. Let me, cause that's where I found it. Uh, Zaytree Twitter. I believe is it just Zaytree? Oh no, it's I'm Zaytree. Okay. There you go. Very, uh, it's like their most recent tweet. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, th they're, they, she has one for like one with like all of the like starting crops that you can get from the shop. And then they also have another layout that like involves apples and blueberries too. So if you have apple and blueberries, like they, they have a couple different setups that they've kind of figured out on how to like make most efficient and stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I wanted to like give those a shot just out of curiosity. 
Yo, hello, um, by the way, Sai. Welcome, welcome. Have y'all seen Kelly? Like Kelly Clarkson? Or who? Kelly Rowland? <laughs> Wait, which Kelly are we talking about? <laughs> go here. Do that. Okay. Child, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm so out of the loop. Oh my god. The Osborne. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So even though you can't put stuff on there, I think I'm gonna still put this over here. Yeah, I got the gazebo. It's so cute. I think I wanna make like another one of those chairs and put it around here. All right. Um. Sometimes I wish we had more like freedom in terms of like free rotation. Like I'm glad that we can actually, you know, um, put things off of grid. But being able to freely rotate would be too. okay. Let's go back up here. I'm gonna go. Oh, I need a grilled oyster, so this is good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here. Oh yeah, Nikki and Call of Duty tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah, I need. Oh, where was that? Where was the thingy? Here it is. Okay, cool. Oh, nice furniture making skill level thirty-one. Let's go. Wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm on the fence selection. Okay. That would make sense. There we go. Yeah, 30. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you make every single piece of furniture in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. That's kind of cute. Maybe I could get like a small little coffee table to go here. Actually, maybe this one might kind of... Well, it almost looks like more of like a footstep, which honestly could be kind of cute to put there too. There we go. Wait, uh, oh, here we... Wait, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, let's do this instead. There we go. Because it kind of covers up the like really messed up part of the um <laughs> rug there. That's good. Oh, yeah. And then we have this lamp. Actually, the lamp could go, like, over here. I need to make a couple more. Actually, I have a couple more of those in my storage. I should uh, get some out. Let me go to my furniture section real quick. So, decor. We have... Uh, let's see. Oh, I had another one in here the whole time. Oopsies. My bad, my bad. Oh, let me get that standing lamp for sure. And then... The makeshift end table. Um, oh, let's get one of these. Uh, da, 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 and a treasure chest. Sure. Why not? And I'm going to get more fences out, actually, because I feel like I, we could do something fun with that. Ooh, this treasure chest is really nice looking, actually. I'm going to put it up there. <gasps> for decoration why not oh you know what i could put like all my little trophies out here on display i have so many of them and i have the hardest time finding a spot for them i could just put them all around that'd be kind of cute i think um and then we have this which oh good it can go up here oh awesome okay cool i'll put this over here then very good okay awesome and then wait can we put bugs on here too we can put our little snail friend around here. Or let me on the other area anyway. Didn't it? Yeah, it lets me put it here. On oh, very specific spots. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't know if it's a little redundant to have another chair there with all the benches around, but... That's okay. Mm. 
And then, uh, yeah, I kind of like that one little technique that people do where they put, like, little fence posts kind of guiding somewhere. So I'm going to go and do this over here. Hello, Taban. Welcome on in. Yeah, I'll kind of do... Then we can plant some trees and stuff around, too. Hey, Saffron. Welcome, welcome. You got your cooking to level 12? Oh, nice. That is the gazebo. It just finished being built. I was putting some stuff in it just to decorate it a bit. Hello, Fred. Welcome, welcome. And now I'm just kind of uh, decorating around my lot real quick. Um, we'll probably play Paleo for like a little over like, maybe like um, about two hours. And then I'm going to switch to some more Baldur's Gate 3 with the one and only Aizen buns. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. There. Actually, I wonder, if, is this easier in the H mode here? Can I like, no, I can't even click those around. Okay. I had to do it like this. Fine. Since we can't have pathways and stuff, just putting little fence posts and stuff kind of leaning there, I think is kind of cute. Um, might move this a little bit forward. Why can't I pick it up? Hello. I can pick that up. Huh. Weird. Okay, I'll just leave that there for right now. Um... Oh, you know, I think this is, like, the weird one where you can place it, but then when you pick it up, uh, or, like, it just does not, like, work. Okay. Put this over here. Let me see. Oh, wait, no. This one works. Uh, no. I like this out here, though. Okay. Here. Yeah, you can use, like, rugs as pathways, which is pretty fun. Thankfully, we can't put rugs outside, which feels good. Uh, let me see. I think I want it to go more narrow. Instead of going outward. There we go. Oh, shoot. No, I've, I've not done any cake parties. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like the way that this is kind of guiding us over here. I can probably actually stop it there. Put one over here. Like a couple. Like I initially had it. Yeah, I think that just makes more sense. Uh, yeah, the modular, like, adjustable fencing is such a nice little... Feature. That way they don't have to be, like, specifically a certain way if you don't want them to be. <laughs> Hello, Cat Mum. Welcome on in. And then over here, I think we could maybe... Ah, uh, no. You know what? I kind of like how it doesn't go super duper fenced out. That's fine. Have that. Okay. And then I have a couple random items that I, I just kind of put around here. <laughs> Make it look, look cuter. Oh yeah, and then we have this cute little end table. I'll have to like make some more items and put something else in here. Maybe some more plants and stuff. Okay. Back here. I'm so glad we don't have to worry about like, um, 
leaving our house on a certain slot anymore. It's so nice. I was like paranoid as all hell before. Oh yeah, I can go and sell things. I forgot about that. Let me go and put some things for sale. Onto those and those. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I really wish they would... Oh my god, I know. It has been... Bud for a little bit. <laughs> I want her... There's like a cute um, item you get at the end of it, too. The thumbnail for it looks really adorable. Alright, let me go to equipment. Okay, I need to find Reth. There you go. There's Reth. Okay. Yay. Alright, there. And we got Nayo and Reth's pen. Um, awesome. Yeah, it looks really cute. Okay, I'm gonna make another one of those. Oh, here. Well, let's make some plants while we're... Oh, well, you know what? Mm. Hold on. Let me focus on one thing at a time. There is... Hello, uh, Miss Nebulous. Welcome on in. There is a... Ooh. Okay, that one's kind of cute. I'm getting distracted with the plants. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, you know what? It's fine. I gotta do that anyway for my weeklies. That, that's right. Okay, I'm trying to find the uh, chair that's... Oh, there it is. Th this, is this is what I needed. Okay, good, 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 good. Wanted to put another one around here. Around this little campfire. They look all cute. I wish we could make s'mores in this game. It'd be so adorable. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that up. And then I'll leave some uh, grilled meat here. Even though it looks like mushrooms, that's fine. Okay, cool. There's all that. Um, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put this over this way instead. Just because I'm always running out and needing to grab stuff on my way out. So this will work. Okay. So I need to go here and then we need to get uh, da, 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 a sweet leaf. We also need to go get... Oh, right. I want to see. Under cooking... Oh, I don't have any pies. I thought I did. Never mind. Okay, that's all right. Um, oh, wait. Are these... Okay, these are both opened. I need an unopened oyster. That's okay. All right, let's go grab a carrot. We need... Oh, right. Under... Here, I need a Samara. We need some plant fiber, which... Is that under materials? Probably. Yeah, here we go. Plant fiber, then we need cotton seeds. We also need... Oh, the bright eye butterfly. Let me see. I do have one. Okay, good. Then we'll also have to give... Oh, a stone brick. Okay, let me go get a stone brick. There we go. And then let me check to see if we can find a substitute for... Like, one or two of these items. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, you want silk thread? Oh, heartwood planks? Oh my god, I have so many heartwood planks. Yes. I will give you a heartwood plank. That is easy peasy. Let's see. Oh, you also want a stone brick? Okay. Let me go and get you a stone brick, too. Okay. That'll be good. That way, instead of giving Einar a uh, crab, we can give them some chocolate. So that'll be good. I so badly want to run other villagers for the pictures, but I worry that they'll get mad or have romance decay. Oh, no, I know what you mean. Because it is like that in a lot of other games. So I, un I understand your hesit like being hesitant about that. Absolutely. Head on into town. Hopefully. <laughs> I know there was some server stability issues earlier today, but it seemed, they said that they resolved them on Discord, so I think we'll be okay, hopefully. Alright. Let's 
go get into town. Oh wait, Hassian, I gotta give you something. I need to give you plant fiber. That's right. Get on over here. I truly look forward to these chats. There you go. Yay, no problem. Oh yeah, Tao's got his ball back. Yes, I can see that. Oh, and Shay told me to say hi. What? Did he? I should pay him a visit. Tao enjoys his company as well as the treats he gives him. Tao seems happier since getting his ball back. Mm. Thank you for finding it. Hopefully he won't lose it again. Oh. Cute. Uh, I'll miss you. Hi, Tao. Unconditional affection. Adorable. Uh, is everything all right? Want to head pat help? Good. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I was on a little bit earlier, but then I went to go um, freshen up real quick and get some lunch. And then, yeah, I came back and I was kicked out. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on? Okay, Tish. Oh, wait, Eshi's over there. Let me give something to Eshi before I forget. Because then I can never remember where she's at. Uh, I've been in dire need if I'm not mistaken, that pin belongs to the cook. I would question your choice in partner, but it really isn't my business. Oh, how <laughs> thrilling it is to kill a most Cool, they already acknowledged the red pen. Okay, you wanted a Samara. There you go. Oh. Yay, finally we can plant some classy trees in this village. Okay. Now I must go back to cleaning up after Kenny. Oh, there's Delilah. Um, let me go and talk Are to them too. This farm has been in my family for generations. There's no better legacy you can leave your family than land. Uh, Hopefully one day Ani will grow to appreciate that. Always so helpful. All right, Tish. Are you here? There you are. We decorated our house together. Oh my God. Joe and I were hanging out the other day. I mentioned he was looking for a green pearl. Oh, gotcha. Oh, thank you so much, Ivory. That is very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I've been obsessed with this game. It's been so much fun. I've been playing it so, so We're much. <laughs> Where we've almost done all the quests in the game, which is kind of wild to think about. At least, as far as I'm aware of, I don't know, there might, because they added, like, in the most recent, like, content patch, they added the ability to go and get found items that start different quest lines. And I've found two of them so far, or three of them, actually. We found one in Bahari Bay. We found another one in, or actually two in Bahari Bay and then one in the river. Um, oh my God, of course, Ivory. Thank you so much for watching it. My favorite part of Palea? Oh man. I think like, honestly, my favorite aspect of it is just the fact that it is multiplayer on such a grand scheme. Cause I play this game with my friends every single day. Um, and of course, you know, I play it pretty often here on Twitch and like, it is very cool. I love being able to help each other out whenever we need certain resources or if we have to go and like do things like if you have to go get materials, we can go get that together. Um, or if we go fishing together, we get like that little fishing boost. So I hope they continue to add different aspects um, like that because cooking together can also be super entertaining and beneficial to everyone. But, like, as far as, like, actual gameplay features go, I mean, I gotta say, like, the crafting really, you know, I obsessed over it a lot. <laughs> Only problem with the crafting is it desperately needs a search bar super bad. Oh, yeah, lifeless, for sure. I could totally do that before I switch over to Baldur's Gate if you want to. Um, I'll just go give these gifts and stuff, and I think that's, like, the main thing I gotta do today. And then anything else I do is pretty much extra. All right, Kenyatta, I gotta go give you your butterfly. I got in my mom's office. There you go. Yeah. Yay! Oh, this thing is rad. Thanks. You actually know my taste. No problem. If someone breaks into okay, so we got I Aya, da, 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 the Samara. We got rid of that. We did the plant fiber. Oh, Kenley should be here. He needs the grilled oyster, actually. Okay, I gotta go head up that way and do it. Nice of you to start um, also, yeah, I think the characters would be the next thing. Because if this game didn't have really entertaining characters and, like, make them pretty interesting to the point where I want to, like, learn more about them, it would have probably not as interested me as much. But, yeah, I think all the characters in this game and their quests and storylines are really, really fun. 
Okay, here you go. You wanted the grilled oyster. Mm. Yay. Hi, 16-bit. How's it going? Okay, got rid of the grilled <laughs> oyster. We got rid of the butterfly. So there's five more things we got to do. Okay. So uh, let's go find Ashra. Ashra is usually fishing around this time of day. Let me just verify and see if that's where he is. Oh, just kidding. Oh, you know what? He's probably going to Remembrance Garden right now. That's what he does after he fishes in the morning. Let me go see. Um, yeah, you, you can feel free to add. Oh, you know what? I probably have to go and add a couple people now that that glitch has been fixed. Let me see. Uh, okay, that one showed up. I know there's... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, I usually got to man. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Sometimes it like freaks out for some reason. Now let me go talk to Ashura. Hello, Ashura. How's the day treating you? When I go out fishing, I'm always hoping for a prism trout. The classic prism trout dinner is my favorite meal. My wife was sunshine personified. If anyone in the village was feeling down, all they had to do was talk to Sabine to feel warm again. Nice. Here's your sweet leaf. Sweet leaf. Excellent. If I put a little of this in my tea, maybe it'll help me lay out the sweets. By the end soon. Now I gotta give... Oh, the stone brick to Nayo and to... Um, Tifu. I didn't realize, actually, Remembrance Garden has a special song that plays when you're over there, too. There's actually, there's a couple of special songs that play in certain areas, like over in the Phoenix Shrine, like if you walk into like that building where you glide over, there's another song that plays there too, that I normally don't hear because I don't go up there all that often. The Io might still be by the stables, maybe? Have they fixed the SCR or can you still go in here? Oh, you can still go in here. Yeah, I don't think you're meant to be able to actually like walk around here or not, but <laughs> just... Casually break through the walls there. Okay, Busy hello, today. Nayo. We uh, want a steak. Gotcha. Okay, here you go. Here's a stone brick. Nice. That'll come in handy. No problem. Family, said hi. Okay, let's go up this way. That way we can talk to Sifu. It should be in the end by now. Is Hadari here or did he leave already? Oh, he's probably already on his way to Bahari. Okay. Uh, I was just thinking about you. There you go. Uh, Yay. Ooh, go get him out there. Hey, Bobru. Vegetables, animals, minerals. No problem. <laughs> I always appreciate your. Business. Okay, last person I need to talk to is Gina and Hecla. Or well, actually, I still need to go talk to. We talked to Eshi. We flirted with Kenyatta, I think. Did I? I gave her something. I'll go double check. And then, oh, I gotta go get another chocolate for Einar. Assuming I can give him I one. Have been longing to speak with you. I know you can only give, um... What's it called? You can only give chocolates twice a week. Watch out for my ears. There's you Gina. This world will not literally. Unless... Uh, <laughs> I'll have something exciting for you okay. this time. Let me go back to Einar now. Um for sure talk to you. Talk to Hecla. Uh Gel, did I Yeah, this morning we flirted and talked with you, right? Didn't we? Let me just My see. Treasured muse. We did. Okay, we flirted with you. Now Pinata. Let me check. Oh. Actually, hold on. Go and buy more chocolates. Did I give you a gift this today already, Joe? Let me see. Your presence I did it. There you go. Oh, I already gave it this item this week. Oh, so maybe you can only do it once per week. Okay. Got it. My bad. I might have misread that then. 
Uh, well, you know what? Let me go give Rhett some chocolates, just for the heck of it. Why not? You're giving this me? Sure you didn't mean some other dashing rogue? Well, no takesies backsies. I'm gonna go hide them before you can change your mind. Ready to cause a scandal? Always. That's why I like you. Uh, let's see. Now that you know my whole deal, I guess I can let you know what was in that cake. That was a flow-powered device that turns whatever you put into it into carrots. It's called the Carrotizer. Now, of course, I'm a no-good, untrusty scoundrel, so it's quite possible I'm lying. What do you want this week? Some yellow perch by the end. That would be great. I need it for one of my non-lettuce-based recipes. Right, he, his is the stand and the cook's trays. Gotcha. Oh, you can just straight up buy meals there, too. Cute. Um, okay. Uh, Kenyatta. Are you up here? No. Girl, where'd you go? Wait, what? Where is she? Where does Kenyatta go? Oh, the library. Uh, I forgot. Let me go over there and talk to them then. There they are. Actually, okay, good thing we checked because I did not flirt so, with them for the day. See you later. Yeah, in case you didn't know, you can talk and flirt with everyone each in-game day. And then you can give them all a gift every real life day. And the day resets in re like real life time, 9 p.m., Pacific time or midnight midnight Eastern and then you can give them things again so you have about like what five hours or so no like like four hours and like 20 minutes or something left oh to uh, give them something also to buy something from Zeki's that way you can be eligible for a token because you get one lucky coin each day from Zeki every real life day from Zeki um, actually, a couple of my friends have gotten the bed from that set, too, which is neat. I think many people aren't understanding that in order to get the Paleum nodes to spawn, they have to mine the stone and iron nodes that's in their place. Oh, for sure, Fred. There's a lot of people that go to those spots, they just check for Paleum, see if there's anything there, and then just bail to the next spot. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to get Paleum and you go through your little Paleum route, make sure you clear out the entire zone. Otherwise, when you come back, it's just going to be the same thing as you left it. As, and you're just like never gonna get paleum. Um, or with like the flow trees, you gotta go and chop down flow trees in order for them to pop up. Otherwise, they're just they won't magically transform into one. So, if you go into the server and you're running around and you don't see any, you're gonna continue not to see any because they just yeah, you gotta chop some down. Gale 527 All right, hello, Einer. Been looking oh, for a vampire crab. Cute. Okay, well, here, first of all, let me flirt. Yay. You're the real catch. So that would be difficult. I'm not a fish. And while I find worms delightful, I do not find them irresistible. Let's go here. Yeah, free glass. That's exactly right. Can I give you another box of chocolates or no? I already gave you that this week. Got it. Okay. Well, I figured out what people like, by the way. Thank you for this information. I shall use it to spread much joy. Time with you has helped me balance my many onenesses. In addition, I have found I've gotten much joy from it. Could it be time... With you is a new oneness. But I digress. I apologize for not understanding the nature of your gifts earlier. You see, I am unfamiliar with Majiri gift-giving customs. But I spoke again with Hecla. She mentioned something about a pin to showcase the specialness of our friendship. Is that what you want? More than anything. Really? I, must, I don't think I've seen that animation from Einar before. I must thank Hecla for telling me you did all this hoping to receive a custom-made adornment. Here is mine. Happy adorning. Oh my god, they're clapping. <laughs> I have not seen them clap either. <laughs> Sometimes I like to go watch the familial unit known as Daya eat dinner at night. It is fascinating to witness the process of nutrient ingestion as well as familial bonding. It reminds me of evenings with my creator. I would watch him as he ingested nutrients and used me as an emotional stand-in for familial bonding. Those were the days. Oh, wait. Let me go back here. And then this is how much? Yeah, 980 for the Fisher's Aquarium. 
I want it. It looks so good. I mean, I got to get my fishing up to level 20 as well, so. But, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, he says vampire crab, but for you, actually wants a spine shell crab. Oh, let me see if that's the same case for me. Let me go see. As I scroll past him. There he is. Oh, yeah. No, you're totally right. Same for me, Cinnamon. So, okay. Um, we are, like, practically... Like, next time we talk to Delilah, we should be maxed with them. Eshi is actually getting pretty close, and so is Hecla. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, Hecla wants some grilled mushrooms. I can get her that. That's fine. Um, oh, wow. Gel's romance is going to max out in a second, too. So, yeah, I think we'll actually be able to do Gel's quest and Delilah's quest then. Um, I've heard that Delilah's quest is like semi bugged right now where you can't do the optional thing, but eh, it's okay. As long as I can still complete it, then I think it'll be fine. Um, so I need to, I think, head on over to the dragon statue, maybe. Yep, I have another hundred, so I can go and increase my focus by to 930. So I'm gonna go and do that, and then I gotta go rush on over to Bahari. So that I can go and uh, talk to Tamala, which is... <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's see. Where are we at with Tamala in general? So with Tamala, I mean, her friendship is maxed. Romance, yeah. Tamala for sure is going to be the last person I max out altogether, though. Because she's just so out of the way. <laughs> but how exciting. I think we have all of the pins now. I have, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm missing... Wait, actually, do I have Tamala's pin? I should, theoretically, right? I think. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. So I have everyone's pin in the game now. And then we should get Jell's photo soon. Oh, it's exciting. Oh my goodness. The way that I, like, I want to make a second character to do it all over again. Because once I'm done with all that, I'm like... Well, uh, I guess I, well, I could work on building up a second home, I suppose. I could always do that. Let me go and commune. Now we're at 930. Amazing. Okay, let's go over here. You have one fish left to get before you're done with the shrine bundles? Oh, hell yeah. That's amazing. I know. It, th thankfully, I was kind of in the same situation where basically I went out of my way to like kind of just over time get a lot of those fish and then eventually I was able to get them that way which was fantastic so it was great it was a good good time alrighty hello uh, Emma welcome welcome I should let's see I'm gonna go quick travel here cause yeah it's, she's just too far I'm just going to start spending the money to get to her faster. <laughs> oh, honestly, you know what would have been even faster is if I went to a bulletin board and kill him. Actually, I should have done that. Because the fast travel that you can take from kill will take you directly to Tamala. Uh, well, assuming if it's the right time of day. I think if it's like slightly afternoon or something, it'll be good. Uh, should I be greedy? I'm gonna be a little greedy. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go chop, 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 chop. And get this little flow tree. It'll take me a little bit, but... Oh, hi. I was caught being greedy. No, there was supposed to be no one here. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, at least someone else got it. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. <laughs> oh, my God. There's another one. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, I'll call this one out. Oh, my God. There's so many. What the? Two flow trees next to Tamala's position north. <laughs> Listen, I know how annoying it is to find these flow trees. Wait, did someone get this one up here? Oh no, okay. I was like, what the hell? There we go. 
Alright. Oh my god, there's so what? There's three. Make that three. Oh yeah, lifeless, absolutely. There you go. Yeah, it's all by oh my god, there's four. There's four by Tamala. Make that four. <laughs> there's a lot by Tamala. I'm gonna go ahead and bop them all. I'm coming in all caps on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Make that five. <laughs> There's a lot. I keep spotting them. Six. There's six. Seven. Eight. Oh my god. What the? F Hello? Why is there so much fluid? Nine? <laughs> Ten? <laughs> What the? I'm just gonna go give these all a bop because I feel like people are gonna stumble across these. Holy crap. What the hell? Yeah, I'm like, how are these just all chilling around here? They're just like, they're everywhere. I don't even know which ones I have and have not hit. Thankfully, they all get their health back. I mean, I'm not, like, in any major need. I've spotted... 10 all around Tamala. To the north, and a ton to the east as well. There's just, there's so many. They're just kind of everywhere. It's kind of hard to call them all out. I don't even know if I've seen all of them. Like that one, for instance, I might have not even noticed before. Is this a one-shot? Ooh, it is. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, someone must have... Now I'm lost. Now I forget where Tamala is. I need to go talk to Tamala. Oh, jeez. If people chop down all these trees, I'm not even going to remember where they all were. Oh, God. Okay, let me... <laughs> Let me try to retrace my footsteps a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Tamala. My match in you. Holy moly. I keep thinking you'll fool me. Okay. On my way to Tamala. Sounds good. Yeah, there's this one. There's one right over there. There's a couple over that way. There's some over there. Just kind of wherever. Puts me up by Tamala. They're a easy point of reference. Then we go. There's... Okay. Hmm. I've already hit them, so I'm I'm chilling. coming speak now or forever hold your peace okay oh, no one else is really saying anything and over here leaving you to a bunch of paleo and they serve cash oh no that's so unlucky Seems we've all kind of gone different pathways. Okay. Oh wait, oh, they're coming. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, to be fair, this one was kind of hard to see. I should have called it out. It's my bad. Nice. Hey. 
Um, Andrew. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm apparently the leader now. The leader, y'all. Um, oh, bye, Kamala. North of her. Um, Tom, where, where's Panda? My level is um, 170 right now. There's more. Yeah, waiting. Panda. Um. Yeah, those are the ones that I saw. Some of the directions. I already said so. It's fine. It's Panda. Panda. Use those coins to fast travel. I believe in you. It's worth the money. I guess. Oh, is that them? What is that? Is that Panda? Oh, it's not. Okay, I don't know, man. We got places to be. Oh, wait. wait, wait. Uh, is that Panda? <laughs> That's like this. Okay. I guess. Let's just go. I don't know. I, we waited a while. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> if it was just me and Lifeless, it'd be fine. But I feel bad for all these other people. Cool. There's some more over here, right? Yeah, there's like a couple. I've already hit this one, so... I'm just gonna swing so they know. Oh, I didn't mean to actually hit it. Fuck. Oh, man. Hey. Go. Mm. No. What? Oh, did we get that message again, Tux? Oh my goodness. I logged in the other day to go to my house. Why well, I was just on just real quick anyway. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, Don Trail's around the corner. Oh no, that one was pretty weak. There's more over here. I don't... Oh, to get it again. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh wait, there's one up here. Oh my god, I missed this one actually. Now there's, yeah, a couple over this way. I already hit these two, I believe. Actually, I can't remember if I hit this one. Oop, trip my axe is too powerful. Nice. I definitely hit this one, that's for damn sure. I think some people are at the other one. Is there more? Oh, <laughs> there might be. All right, I'm good. I got 36. I'm chilling. <laughs> There's probably uh, it's pretty nuts though. There's a lot of really um, 
Good flow tree spawns here. I'm shook. All I wanted to do was call one out, and then suddenly there were so many. Voice. Okay. Yay. Um. Hmm. Look, there's so many using the glider as an axe. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, do you want to hunt, uh, Cernak? I have special arrows. Wait, do I? Oh, okay, I forgot them at home. Oh. Oops. Oh, you don't have any? Okay, no problem. I'm gonna just maybe try to chase this down. I lose track of it so quickly. Uh, because oh yeah 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 I um I wonder there's something about Bahari where the gliders are overall pretty messed up. Oh did it get stuck? I think I did make it get stuck over here. I hear it. <laughs> oh there's another one over here lifeless. I don't know if you wanted uh one more low tree on me if you want. There might be some others. It's a little one but. Yes, please. Okay, yeah, sure. Let me go and add you to party. Um. Uh, by the way, Chris, did you want to cook with lifeless? Wasn't sure if they're doing anything, but I know lifeless needs some more of that meaty stir fry. Oh my god, it's right here. I thought it was. Like glitched the whole time. What the hell? Okay, it's all the way over there. Jesus. All right, yay. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay. Yay. Go do some cooking in a little bit. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find this sucker real quick though. <laughs> I've shot it a couple times. Hmm. I really need to carry those special arrows with me. That's my bad. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Carried me. Palium in here? Or rocks? A rock. I'll go ahead and clear it. Okay, I have no idea where it went. I think I gotta just abandon it. On my way home. God, loading in is always so <laughs> terrifying. Oh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you. I'm gonna put this away. And then... Oh, you know what? I have uh, more of those little lights, don't I? Let me see. Yeah, I have three of them here. We got some of those around here. That way... I can try to make it look a little bit... cozier around here. There. One out here, even. Yeah. 
Maybe we can make like a little baby one to put on the table there. I have a couple spare light bulbs. Maybe or actually a medium one look might look kind of nice there. Oh, it's my last light bulb. Right? I know. Those light bulbs are my fa- Or the light bulbs. The lamps. They're some of my favorites. They're so cute. Alright. There we go. Maybe we can color this one a little bit. Use a customization kit. Maybe make it- Is there a green color? Okay. There is. There's kind of- That's kind of greenish. Right, I'm gonna work on that one then. Got a little bit of color there. Cute. Oh, thank you, Liz. Yeah, the gazebo is really cute. If only we could sit. <laughs> Singularity. Six, I am begging you. Let us sit down on our furniture. <laughs> um, I'm going to go here. There are crops. And then... Let me get these out. Pull these. Oh, I have an angular. Oh, okay. Actually, well, I'm gonna go put this. Uh, let's see. B. Hmm. I might be able to tux. Yeah, I think I have some. Feel free to put in the request, and then I'll, I'll double check and see if I have any. So I've been really liking the whole technique of clipping trees into the building. Because, I don't know. It's just like, we don't have any, like, vines that we can put inside yet. So, it's just, it's kind of cute. It's like, gives you some more greenery inside the house. At least I like it. I think it's kind of fun. Especially my bathroom here where I have a bunch of plants and stuff. Oh yeah, I made some more plants in here too. It's up. Okay, cool. Let me... I think I gotta go get it first. Should. I'm pretty positive. I feel like I made some recent Crops. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, that's rice. Oh yeah. No, I have even more wheat than I do rice. Wait, is it up? Um, oh, thank you, City Sparrow. Thank you so much. Wait, it's up? You're Beyonce, right? <laughs> Beyonce Knowles, where are you? I don't see your requests up right now. Maybe, maybe they'll show up in a little bit. Um, I see Ash and Cece. You paired with uh, the mushroom wallpaper. I've clipped so many. Oh, trees in the house. Cute. Oh my god, I can only imagine how adorable that wallpaper is. That's actually one of the few that I've not seen yet. Hold on, I'm gonna go here. Let me go change my outfit. It's been a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then, because around the gazebo, it's pretty bare. So I'm like, I think I'm just gonna place a bunch of trees. Take it. Because I can't place bushes. And I've got plenty of these trees available. Uh, oh, actually, let me put the uh, juniper one here. Yeah, this is pretty. Actually, yeah, I like that a lot. Let me see if I put one on this side. I have to move this first. Oh, there we go. Let's see how that looks from over here. Nice. Big pretty tree. Okay. 
I just got a whole bunch of these, so... I'll make my forest look a little bit more dense. So if I ever need more wood, I just know where to go. Odd. You can tell how many trees I had to chop down for flow wood. <laughs> Maybe I should hold them to a couple of these. Maybe I may need them for a quest or something. Yeah. Cool. Okay. There's all that. Wait, Tux, was it actually up? Oh, there you go. I see it now. All right. I got you. <laughs> oh, Elder. I don't know. I have any Elder one. Oh, I wish. Yeah, some hanging lights would look so nice. Yeah, no problem, Tux. Of course, of course. Oh, right. I need some grilled mushrooms for Hecla. Let me... I'm gonna go do that real fast because um, I... I'm trying to get Hecla up max. And since I'm gonna be switching to Baldur's Gate in a little bit, like in 40-50 minutes, probably not gonna remember to do that before. Or uh, I could do it right after we finish cooking, actually. Uh, wanna cook at Lifeless is again. Okay, let me put this away over here. That way I don't accidentally eat the mushrooms. <laughs> Hello, Mara. Welcome on in. Oh, right. Let me do that first. <laughs> oh, is it time? Oh, it's time, y'all. It's time to do a new garden layout. I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up somehow. We'll see. Oh, this is great. I'm glad this is actually coming in. That way I can put tomatoes and potatoes into processing before we eventually switch games. What's uh, the move for money? I believe I heard you saying your VODs. Oh yeah, that well, that's what I've been doing for like passive income. If you really want to make, like, the most money, um, cake making is apparently where it's at with, like, a group. Um, yeah, if you have, like, a group of people on, or, like, if you can find a group of people to make cakes with, um, that can make you a lot of money. But if you're just, like, don't want to be bothered with, like, going into a group setting or whatever, or if you don't want to... I mean, I guess you can make a cake by yourself. It might take a little while, but... Yeah, that makes a lot of money. Um, if that's solely, solely, what if you just want like a bunch of cash. Uh, but for me, for just making like passive income while I'm like, you know, leveling up skills or as I'm playing other games or just doing other things throughout my daytime, then I do potatoes and tomatoes, which relies on solely myself, which is nice. You made, oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, you can make like a, a lot, a lot of money from the the cakes but um for me i yeah i've just been doing this and i'm at a point right now where i feel like i don't really like need money anymore to be honest so now i'm actually changing my fr props i'm actually going to be doing a layout which will give me less potatoes and less tomatoes but it'll give me more of everything else just so that i have a variety of crops. I want to basically get like a couple hundred of each crops. That way I can just hold on to them for like future cooking and all that good stuff. Um, put that away. Because if I had like a bunch of money, I mean I could buy more crafting licenses I suppose, but I'm pretty happy with the amount I have now. Um, and I'm not like super... I don't know. Like I said, I, I could build a secondary home, but I kind of want to decorate this one some more. I'm happy with how it looks, but um, I still want to go and get some more things for it. Some, like, more black market items and stuff. I guess what I'm my next big purchase could be, I could finally maybe buy the arcade machine. <laughs> if it ever shows up in the black market. I have um, 45k, and then with these seeds and these 
pickled goods. I should get pretty close to being able to buy it. So that might be my next big purchase until they maybe add more things to add down the line. Just distributing some potatoes real quick. Don't mind me. I guess the one temptation with the cakes is if like I made a bunch of cakes and I went and bought a bunch of those mystery balls to try to get the new furniture. Like that definitely seems worth it. Or I'd like to get the cow plushie too. Because there's some pretty cute items you can get there. Like if you make a buttload of cakes, you could buy like with yeah, like 150k you could buy like, you know, 15 or whatever. Um Okay, there's all that. Let me put this away for now. Let me go get my seeds. Okay, so I'm going to get carrot seeds, cotton, these, 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 these. Okay. Now let me go find that image. And oh boy, we just got to be patient and careful, I guess. Or we could follow this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll just just go at it one at a time, I guess. Okay, so let's get a potato. Okay, so potato goes here. A potato goes here. Right? Yes. And then a potato goes up here. A potato goes here. And one goes here. Okay, I'm going to just try to do this in segments. I think that might be the best. Let me put them all in one row so I can kind of see them all easier instead of going back and forth. Okay, let's do our tomatoes now. So tomatoes go this way. This one goes to the right here. This one goes over this way. And then there's one that goes here too. Is that right? Yes. There's four and there's four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, next is the carrots. Here, we'll do the carrots. So there's one that goes this way. And then there's one that goes up here. And then one right here. Okay. Um, okay, let me move this around. Okay, let's do turn... Or, what are they called? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna be onions. Oh my god, it's an onion. Do onions. Do an onion here. Turnips look completely different. That. This. And then here. And one here. Okay, and then we'll do cotton. So for cotton, one goes down this way. One goes here. Another goes this way. And then we'll do... Oh. Did I not put... Let's see. Okay, no, I did not put a carrot here yet. So like that. Okay, so now we're going to go with wheat. Ooh, I was confused wheat and rice. Okay, that's rice. Okay, with rice, we're going to go here... Oh, actually, let me look at it from this way. And then we're going to go here and here. And then we're going to do wheat here. Yeah, and the missing spots. The missing spots. Okay. So when we water these, let me see. Okay. This should... Yeah, weed prevention, quality boost, water retain. Awesome. Okay, cool. Then when we add things over here, this is going to water retain this. So theoretically, once I set it and forget it, I can go do things or whatever as I'm playing. And everything won't have weeds and nothing will need to be watered. I just got to water it the one time until things are ready to be harvested, basically. How that works. Um, and everything's kind of out of sync. Like, you know, sometimes, like, the carrots and the rice are going to come first. So, like, 
replenishing it won't be too annoying. Like the initial setup is definitely a little bit of a process, but then as time goes on, it'll be easier to replenish. And yeah, yeah, I'm trying out this new design that was made by Zaytri, um, who is very big brained and shared their current setup of just like the starter crops, basically. Um, okay, I gotta crop this out though in a way where I don't get confused. Here, let me just like really hyper zoom in on one square, I guess. Or no, I like doing it by row. Hold on. Only thing is, yeah, like. Okay, hopefully I'll realize what I'm doing. Okay, let's start. Okay, tomato. Tomato goes there. Tomato also goes this way. Tomato goes to the middle. That's the middle. And this goes to the top left. We're done with tomatoes. Okay, let's move on to rice. Rice in the middle. Let's do that. So rice in the middle goes like that and that and that. Then we also have another thing of rice at the bottom center and then rice at the top center. And then after that, we got to go to carrots. So there's a carrot that goes right here. There's a carrot that goes here. There's a carrot that goes in the bottom center here. There's a carrot that goes to the top right and the bottom left of this 3x3. Three three. Right there. All right, we're done with the carrots. Okay. So now we're going to go to wheat. So wheat goes into the center on the left and the right. And then to the right of the center. Sorry, I have to say this out loud. Otherwise, I will mess it up. <laughs> okay, cotton. The so cotton goes to the top center of the right. And cotton goes to the bottom center of the left. And that's it. That's all for cotton. Now we go back over here to onions. And onions go here. And here. Okay. I messed the tomato over here, actually. The tomato goes here, too. And then potatoes. Okay, we gotta get our potatoes out. The potato goes here. The potato goes to the top center. A to potato potato goes to the left. And then what am I missing right here? What is this in the middle to the left? The middle to the left, it is more wheat. Okay, so let's get wheat. Then do this and this. Okay. So now the middle row is done. Okay. That. Okay, now the bottom row, the last row. All right, let's start with the tomatoes again. So tomato, left, left. Corners of the top right and top bottom, or top right, bottom left of this one. And then the bottom center of this one. Okay, now let's do this one because this pattern seems pretty straightforward actually. So it's like this and then like this. And then the same thing over here, but mirrored. So there and there. And then we put this at the top center. Okay, now let's do carrots. Carrots. There's one that goes here. There's one that goes here. There's one that goes here. Okay. Now cotton. We'll do cotton. There's only three cotton. And that's a good frame of reference for the other ones that I plant. So we'll put one there. Put one there. Put one up here. Go to potatoes now. Potatoes, there's one that goes here at the bottom right, there's one that goes up this way, one that goes at the bottom center, and then over here, and then over this way. Okay, and now for wheat. Oh, wheat's the easiest. Wheat goes in the center of each 3x3. Three three. That's very straightforward. Now, to the left of that, it's rice, so rice goes here, and then rice also goes here, and then rice goes this way. And then the last thing that we're missing is another carrot. Okay. So now, if we did this right, everything should have water retain, everything should have weed prevention, and a whole ton of it should have harvest boost. And let's see. Okay, water retain, weed prevention, harvest boost, quality boost. So yeah, lots of quality boost too. So now that we watered all this, we won't have to water or weed it at all for all of the duration. Holy moly, look at all those bonuses. 
Mega gardening at its best for real. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me just give this a shot again. It'll give us a little bit of everything. As you can see, it's um, quite a lot. If any of you here, um, there's actually a very helpful like layout for it. Uh, Zaytree is very considerate and she made a bunch of different ways to look at it through infographics. So like if you go here, um, hopefully it won't crash my stream here. I'm going to go and add an image. Hold on. Please don't crash. <laughs> it might crash. If it crashes, I'll be back. Okay. But okay. So there's this one, right? So, like if you do well with like just colors and letters, but for me, I kind of find this hard to read. So what I did is I did this, which is images of all of the crops instead. Um, and then, so this is like what you get. Like this was the Excel sheet that they set up so that they could like tell what was what basically. So with this, all weed prevention, all water retain, a bunch of quality boost, a ton of harvest boost, no growth boost. Because there's no blueberries, there's no apples, which I believe that's what does that, I think. And then um, they even went out of their way to provide you a shopping list as well. So um, in this tweet, you can see here, it's like, okay, you're going to need 13 carrots, 12 onions, 13 potatoes, 13 tomatoes, 8 cotton, 11 rice, 11 wheat. Um, and then... Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, those are the four different images. Again, the tweets in chat... If any of you want to get a link to it, it's super cool, super helpful. Uh, again, Zaytree, very big brain. Zaytree is like phenomenal. They um, they played Tears of the Kingdom and they made. Wait, I wonder if I can find their tweet of this. Hold on. They made this wild contraption in Tears of the Kingdom, where it used battery and wind power for a helicopter. So you could just infinitely go wherever you wanted. Like, they, they broke the game. Well, they didn't break it. They, like, used the game to be able to just go wherever you want. <laughs> uh, it, it was a very cool contraption. Um, it was a little... Gosh, I forgot that Tears of the Kingdom actually came out, like, a few months ago already by now. It came out, like, what? Was it June or May? Hmm. Maybe it'll be easier to find on their TikTok. Yeah, the Infinicopter. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty nuts. Um, but yeah, we, we raided them one time after we played Tears of the Kingdom and they were just like in this one zone of Tears of the Kingdom just kind of experimenting around with all the Zonite devices and stuff. It was very fun. Oh my gosh, okay. Sorry, that took me a bit. <laughs> I'm good to cook still if you want to. <laughs> My bad. That took me a little bit. <laughs> you go here and then do this. Okay. Um, let me go put my excess seeds away for right now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds good. Let's go. All right, I'm coming. Remembers lifeless. Yay. A spicy meatball. Wow, how'd they get up there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tao is like, they're like a visitor at my house. They want me to talk to them after finishing a quest. But I'm like, wait, I'm like, if I don't talk to them, they'll just be here. So, you know, yay. Oh, wow. Oh my God, you put in some potatoes in here, lifeless. I'm surprised. <laughs> Last time I was here, it was just all tomatoes. Yeah, so I'm keeping Tell hostage because they're so cute. And I'm like, I just want them to be here forever. He just needs some. <laughs> oh, Aquamedia's here. Oh my god, hi, Aqua. I didn't realize they were awake again. Oh. Oh. Wow. You did yours so cool. Wait. 
I need to place more fence posts that goes to my camp. Oh, this is so cool, lifeless. Holy crap. Oh my god. That is awesome. I love the way that looks so much. Alright, I've got plenty of um rice. That way we can spam the meaty stir fry again, because I've gone through all of mine again and that I, I'm, I mean, I'm totally down to make other things, too, but I really need... Oh, wow. I like the way that you did this diagonally here, too. Wait, I didn't even notice that initially. But you added kind of a bit of, like, a more interesting shape there with your fences. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Oh, I like the way that you put the bellflower planches around the four corners of the fountain, too. How cute. Dang. All right, sorry, Lifeless, I got distracted with all of that. It's so pretty. Oh, have you, um... Yeah, for any that don't know, um, Lifeless is working on an aquarium. Yeah, they got a bunch of fishies here. They got the cool underwater animated wallpaper in the game. So cool. The <laughs> mansion for real, honestly. Dang. Look at this grand dining table. Holy crap. Oh. Uh, should I go buy cooking oil, by the way? I forgot. <laughs> I think I have like two. Or like maybe three. I got. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. I should have enough rice still, I think. Oh, yeah. I still have 29 rice. But I'll be, I'll be good to be on the, the rice duty for sure. I know, right? No, Lifeless's kitchen is so cute. I love that they have this whole little setup of all the, like, the banquet, like, feats there. Also, I'm so jealous they have that ceiling item with the pots. It's a makeshift item, so you have to fish it to get it. And it is so cute. I really like it a lot. I need to go fishing just a bunch so I can try to get more makeshift stuff. Wait, what? Um, where did you get... Oh, you're listening to the stream. Where did you get your wallpaper in the entrance from? Is this a tush wallpaper? Like the blue and the wood paneling on the bottom? This is so pretty. I don't remember it. Huh. This is really nice. I like I don't recall seeing it before, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I overlooked it before. I know I gotta go fishing a bunch more too, for real. No kidding. It's from looking at all of the shrines in Remembrance Garden and the chest bonds. <gasps> it's so nice. Oh my god. Wait, and I looked at a lot of um, shrines and remembrance. Wow. But I guess I didn't look at all of them. Oh, you got the got the cute little decoration too for catching all the bugs. I haven't seen it in game yet. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, sorry. Let me go make the rice. My bad. A lot of level 4 villager furniture too. Yeah. Yeah, also like that, for instance, that that hanging plant over there, I'm pretty sure that's makeshift too, and I, it's so pretty. This as well, what the? Man. Makeshift collection is so beautiful. I accidentally glitched that horseshoe into my wall, by the way. I like, it's like in the um living room wall. I can't get it out. I got the laser pointer down. I need to place that down too. Fancy. Don't mind me while I'm just going around and snooping around everywhere. Oh. Mix it. Yeah, I love that there's so many awesome level 4 relationship items in the game. Like there's Eloises, for instance. Oh yay, cooking is now level 26. Let's go. Also, this makeshift drawer, I've seen so many people have this too. 
I need it. I'm just simply not fishing enough. That's exactly what's going on. I'm just... I need to go. I need to make Einar proud and just go fishing a bunch. You know, I really should do that because, um... I... Uh, need the... What was it? The, sh the shimi recipe still, actually. That's right. Uh. Let me eat some food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, more tokens for the aquarium. Exactly, Sai. True. I think it's just completely random, Liz. There's been times where I gone out fishing and I swear I came home with like six chests. And then there'll be other times where I go fishing a bunch and I don't get, like, a single one. <laughs> so it appears to be just completely random, I believe. At least that's what it feels like. So, yeah. I don't think that, like... Because, you know, like, you have to go and use certain bait for certain fish and stuff. I don't think that's the case for, like, the chests. I believe the chests will always have the same pool of items. So you'll always be able to go and... Try to get the same things, basically. That nice. <laughs> I love doing the circles. It's very important. When spicy meatball points at you, you must dance. They're the rules. Oh. Gotta wait for them all to pick something first before I make the rice. Okay, cool. They all got something. That way we don't glitch them out and accidentally do the wrong thing. Because that would be very unlucky. Nice. I'm so glad we are replenishing our meaty stir fry. Very important. Super, super important. Yay. Thank you. So much food. Okay. It's everyone thing selected. Very good. There we go. Oh, thank this is Lifeless's um house, light red. It's really cute, huh? Yeah, it's my it's um really, really pretty. They're they've spent a lot of time decorating it. It's so cute. They've got their bathroom's like my fave. I love all the plants that are everywhere. This fancy little way to go here and change clothes. Yeah, it is. I haven't had fried rice in a hot minute, actually. It's been a little bit. And since my only job is rice... Here, I'll go and... Oops, I keep canceling out of the animation. I don't mean to do that. That's my bad. Yeah, Lifeless just got the gazebo, too. So they made a pathway for it. Over this way. Look at that. Got a whole gazebo out here now. I got a little hot tub in there for the time being. Super cool. More rice. Whoa! Anonymous! Thank you very much for gifting a subscription to Cat Mum, Woven Viper, Neo Angel, Basil, and Alex Hope Plays. Thank you very, very much. If you can please put some arcade buttons in the chat, I'd really appreciate it. For, well, uh, we don't know who, but thank you, Anon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you. Holy crap. Maybe it's more of this stir fry. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> I like that little voice line. It's so cute. Ooh. Oh, right. For some reason, they don't stack for s if they're like of a different value. 
So the other one was like slightly more valuable than the other, so it's in a whole other stack. Yeah. <laughs> It's horrible. Anytime anyone picks up the meal after it's done, they do like a little cheer. So depending on what voice you pick, they do their little cheer differently. They didn't do it that time though. Maybe it's only sometimes. Weird. Also, I think I've done most of the cooking together. Oh, what's, uh, okay. Yeah, there's, well, there's a couple things that are missing, but working on it. Oh my god, no, honestly, I run into the magical choppa by accident all the time. And I, oh, <laughs> it does make me jump too. I'm like, ah, because like, it's, some, it's always when I don't expect it. I've never like actively thought out the magical choppa either. I feel like the magic the magical choppa's just found me, you know? It's like I'm never actually trying to go after them. Yeah, they just added that pretty recently. I think it was like like two patches ago where this came in and you can get the Pan Pals cooking trophy, both silver and gold. So that's nice. It's worth taking out the spawn location is the same. Yeah, I feel like I kind of know the general area where they spawn just because I keep running into them down there. It's like whenever I'm going for Paleum, I just coincidentally happen to bump into them. Like, ah, yes, very good, very good. I have 15, okay. Before we know it, we'll have a thousand focus capacity, which will be amazing. <laughs> Rice. As soon as I get gold, it's all gone. <laughs> Tux, that's just the way it goes in this game. It really does. As, yeah, those like early recipes, they're no joke. They cost quite a bit of money. Like if you want to get, you know, the gold bar recipe or whatever. Or not even the gold bar, but like, I don't know, other type of bars and everything. They're all like 2,000 or whatever. <laughs> And then your, like, tool upgrades are very expensive. And then, God, forget about it. If you're trying to upgrade your house, too? Yeah, it, it, it gets pretty nuts. Maybe I've gotten to the point in the game where, like, okay, I've, like, upgraded all my tools. I've got all my house upgrades. I've got the gazebo. So now I'm saving up my money, and I'm going to buy the arcade machine from the black market. And then after that, I think I'll probably just, like, hold on to my money, honestly, for the most part. That way, when a future patch comes out, if there's, like, new type of, like, housing items or something, that way I have some gold to spend for those. Your house is still in the first size. Woo. It's just, listen, it's just because I'm a maniac and I played this game an ungodly amount in the first few weeks. <laughs> and so I'm getting to the point now where this game, like, I'm still playing it each day. I still love logging in and, you know... I, I feel like I'll continue to log in and play each day like I did with Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, but yeah, I, I've been kind of uh, playing it a little bit less and less each day. But I still like love booting it up and just relaxing. It's it's such a great thing to have, especially when I'm like chatting with folks on uh, Discord and stuff. Like we um, having this in the background and doing stuff together while we chat is very relaxing and fun. Play, yeah, after League. No, that's actually unironically a great idea, Tux. The stress after all the woes of matchmaking in League of Legends. And then end up not playing League again. It's crazy, like, how, um... Yeah, I mean, people that play League, you know, they've been playing it for so long now. Like, I don't know if there's any game that I've consistently played for, like, that long like over 10 years because even with the sims you know even with the sims like i play the different iterations and not like i'm playing the sims one continuously i mean i guess league of legends is you know updating over time so the game does keep itself fresh because there's always new heroes and over time they've done graphical upgrades and like map changes and stuff so yeah i was in high school when league was in beta like, I remember, I didn't play the beta, but I remember my friend tried to get me to play the beta, and I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> it just didn't really appeal to me. 
But I was wrong. I ended up actually really liking, not League, but um, I ended up playing Dota 2. Because Valve made a MOBA um, called Dota 2 and like, I don't know why I gave that one a shot. I just saw it and I was like, wait, I'm like, hold on. I think just the aesthetics of that game appealed to me more. Like the character design and everything. And I really fell in love with that universe for a while. And it was like my big obsession for a few years and what got me into esports. Um, there we go. Oh, Pokemon Unite. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about that, too. I tried Dota 2, but I always felt dumb. It is a little bit more technical. There are a couple more mechanics to the game, for sure. It's pretty similar, but I feel like in Dota, the thing is, if, if you got caught out, like, you just die at an instant. Where in League, I feel like if you get caught out, you can, if you're quick enough, try to sort of escape a little bit. Woohoo! Almost like with Overwatch and Valorant. Like, Overwatch, like, you can, you know, take a lot of hits and stuff. But in Valorant, if you get spot out, like, you're, you're just dead. Oh. oh, yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, as silly as it sounds, because in League of Legends, you instantly turn. But in Dota, there's no instant turning. You have to have turn animation. And that actually adds a whole other complexity to the game that you wouldn't expect. But it does. Absolutely that oh i gotta mix it i did growing up i did like charmander a lot um and i did have pokemon red <laughs> and then when i played pokemon i didn't play pokemon for like a while but then i played pokemon scarlet and in that game i'm trying to remember who i, I think it was just like puppies like if they were a puppy they were in my crew but i remember i really liked the little bread puppy, I forget their name, but they were adorable. And I had a Growlithe. I really liked my Growlithe a lot. Uh, who else did I have? Gosh, I can't even recall. I had quite a few little cuties with me in Pokemon Scarlet. Hey. Boys. Okay. Thank you guys. Or, uh, oops. Okay. Thank you for the food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna go back home. Oh, I love that Tux, to be honest. Like, what appealed to me, like the reason I picked Pokemon up after, you know, over a decade of not playing that game, initially was just the, um, what do you call it? The gameplay. The fact that it was going to be open world. I'm like, that seems cool. And then I started playing it and I got way more engaged with the story than I expected. I was like, wait, all these characters and stuff, they're very, like, adorable. And it was just super fun. Like, it was fun from start to end. Because the last Pokemon game that I had played was Pokemon Y. And that one I kind of had to, like, force myself to play through. I, like... I don't know, I just wasn't really enjoying myself with that game as much as I would have liked. But I, I enjoyed Scarlet. I thought it was so fun. The Yeah, no, agreed Tux, definitely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. We're gonna go give this to Hecla, the mushrooms before I forget. Oh, this is so nice. We just Oh, you know what? This is gonna be so good actually for me to go fishing in the game, like when I play for longer sessions. Because I can just, like, plant this, come back in, like, five hours in-game, and then I'll have a bunch of stuff to harvest, which is amazing. I still, No, I can understand that, because it's like me with Persona. Like, anytime anything Persona comes out, I'm going to get it and play it. Do, am I absolutely the worst at fighting games? Yes. Did I buy Persona 4 Arena? Yes. <laughs> Do I, I'm, as you can see with Baldur's Gate 3, I'm terrible with tactical kind of games, but I'll probably be picking up Persona 5 Tactica when that drops. Oh my god, speaking of, I watched the Persona 3 Reload trailer, the second one that they dropped. I am stunned at how good that game looks. I'm so excited. Like, holy crap, dude. The animation budget is 
out of this world. I could not believe it. I'm like, what is this? I was just like tripping up with uh, just production wise how good it looked. You bought Persona 5 Royal and didn't play it because I watched your playthrough instead. <laughs> you know what? That, that's fine. Like, um, honestly, y you know, it, it works out. You supported the devs uh, and you got to experience it. Easy. Oh, Basil. Yeah, I'm... We, we're like in this... W we haven't finished it yet, but we're in the first dungeon right now. And uh, we're about to go fight like the last boss of it. And oh my goodness, it has been a struggle. But thankfully, I'm playing with eyes and buns. Gosh, if I wasn't playing with eyes and buns, I don't know. I mean, I maybe I just play on like a, the super easy difficulty, I guess. But eyes and buns has been carrying me with their cleric, and they've been taking control of Asterion, who is um. A rogue? And, uh, they've been doing work. I've been controlling my character and Will. But, man, I don't know. I'm, I think I just don't like the Warlock skills I have equipped on him. So I think I'm gonna look at his spell book and try some new spells today. Give him another shot. Um, but I, I think I'm also, after I'm done with that dungeon, I might bring Gale along a little bit more because... Or not Gale. Wait, is it Gale or Hale? Hale? Hale. Um, <laughs> Magic Boy. I'm going to bring Magic Boy with me. Um, because I want to play his class a little bit more. Okay, let's find Hecla. Oh, it is Gale. Okay, I can remember. I'm like, it's one or the other. Okay. Oh, let me disband the party. That way, Lifeless doesn't get in, like, party limbo. Go. Okay. Then we'll go here. It is time for communication. Here is the mushrooms you wanted. Yay! Yay! Awesome. Do not distract me. I'm monitoring Gina's breathing patterns. Gotcha. You guys are playing hardcore. I stealth killed all the goblin bosses to avoid fighting the whole place. You are leaving? Yeah, so again, my dumbass was like I'm the reason I made it so difficult. Because <laughs> I went over to... Um, what, what's the druid's name again? We, we we rescued him because he was being pelted at by rocks by little goblin children. And he's like, oh, well, I can join you in overtaking this camp. But if I do, like, it's going to put everyone on high alert, blah, blah, blah. He warned me, but I'm like, ah, oh, like, it's going to be fine. It's going to be no problem. It was a problem. It was, it was a big issue. <laughs> and sure, we probably could have reloaded. Halson, thank you. Yes, we just ran into Halson and Halson's been in our party. So it's me, Will, Eisenbuns, Sterion, and Halson. We're all together fighting the dungeon or the like goblin city, basically. And yeah, I asked him to join me and... Because I'm like, I don't know, I guess I was scared. I'm like, well, if you don't join me now, I'm like, oh, maybe you'll never join me. I don't know. So, um, he's been beast, like, uh, no pun intended, but very beastly. Like, holy crap. Major tank doing lots of damage. Um, so it, it's, it's been cool. Because I also, like, am interested in Druid as well. Um, I think I can, like, sub, or what is it? Like, it's like you have your, like, my major class, and is it... It's not called minor, right? Is it subclass or whatever? Because I think I can be like a paladin and like part druid. Is that correct? Or something? So I was thinking of maybe, yeah, being a paladin slash druid or maybe a paladin slash uh, sorcerer. Multi classing. Thank you. Yes, that was the term I was looking for. Um, so that's what I was thinking about, basically. Um, okay. So. Should I do this? Because it is 6 p.m. If I get into Baldur's Gate 3, I'm going to start really, like, getting into it. Um, Yeah, cute little puppy. Little towel. They're adorable. They're such a good boy. Oh, lighting here is really good. Oh, Moon Forest. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. 
I know he is a party member, and um, I, I've seen his love scene before because it was like, you know, it went viral before I even really knew what the game was. So, um, gotcha. Hello, DVD Bucket. Welcome. Okay, y'all. I think I'm going to probably take a, a bit of a longer break. Um, and then when we come back from the break, I'm going to switch over to Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, now that I've been playing this for a couple hours, which was fun. We'll, we'll play some more when we come back, um, maybe on Friday. Because I think I want to dedicate tomorrow to all Baldur's Gate again. But on Friday, when we come back, we'll have a new quest with Delilah. And we'll have a new quest with Jell. And as we talk with, oh, Hecla and Kenyatta on Friday, we'll definitely be able to do their quests. Tamala, uh, her, we're probably not going to finish her quest till like, next week or something. But, um, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go on a break for a little bit, y'all. I'll be back in, um... Oh, okay. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to reply to a quick little work message. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to be back in like maybe 10, 15.